and y'all take too long to answer that, yeah. I just might sing a song. <laughs> so y'all know what kind of to sing. Y'all need to sing. Amen. And all I can do is space. Amen. Since you got a testimony. I do. Yes, I, just, right. I just want to share a blessing that my sister and I had for a young lady the other day. Uh, you know, in this day and time, you see all on Facebook where people see people getting beat up or cursed mm -hmm. out or whatever, and everybody just stand back and record or don't do anything. Mm -hmm. So my sister and I pull up to Dollar General, and of course, you know, we used to be ponies chases. But if we saw ponies, we chased them. <laughs> so we, wow. we pull up. There were three ponies there. And then part next to us is a young man who was sitting out you know, in the door. And so, of course, we put our attention to him. We said, young man, do you know what's wrong with this lady over here? That's my baby mama. She called the police on me. And now he's crying. Mm. Okay, now, so then now we crack in the window so mm. we can hear what they saying on this side. <laughs> and on this side, what come to find out, he beat her up. Oh. Okay, so we, let, we took all our attention off of him. And we put our attention on the young lady mm -hmm. with the three kids. Mm. And now, I don't know, she, well, they took him to jail. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when he get out, but I was concerned about that. Me and my sister wanted to be a blessing to that young lady. Yes, so yes, I say, yes. sister, you can... <laughs> You got some money. You got some money. And uh, cause I'm always in her pocket. I know when I ask her, when I ask her, I already know what she got because I know what her daughter gave me. Yeah, I Yeah, I got it. So let me hold it. So I went in there and went over there. I asked the police. I said, can we be a blessing to her? And she said, yes. So uh, the, I was handing it to the young lady. She was hesitant. I said, girl, take the blessing. Mm -hmm. Take it. And then, okay, thank you. And then I, when I went in the store, that's all we had. When I went in the store, I got cash back. Mm -hmm. And I got cash back because I felt like I wanted to give her some more. <laughs> now, now, I wasn't too concerned what she was going to do with it. Come on. Or she was going to bail her out of jail. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we just had that love for her. Amen. And so when we came out, I gave her some more. And then she, this time she said, can I give you a hug? And then that gave me the opportunity to tell her that her life values. Yes, and you don't have to take certain yes, things. Yes, I don't know. I don't know if she ever heard that before. But I just knew at that time, yes. my sister and I wanted to be a blessing to that young lady. Amen. And when we left, uh, uh, after we stopped being nosy, you know, with the nosy daughter trying to listen to the conversation, she seemed like she her, her spirit lifted yes. a little bit. So we were glad to do that. We were glad we didn't just ignore it. Right. But but I'm telling you, my sister and I, since we got older, we stopped. If the lights were blue, <laughs> we were behind them. <laughs> but they were partner, and we knew it was trouble, but we knew we wanted to bless the young a lady, yeah. and then he was sitting over here acting innocent, mm -hmm. like he don't know why. Mm -hmm. And then you can see the big knot on her forehead. Oh, oh, so we were, we were just happy for that. We were happy to be a blessing to her, and we just hope better things come in her life. Don't even know her name. Amen. Don't even know where she lives. Amen. But we hope better things come in her life, and we speak that yeah. standing right here today. Amen. But that young lady, Amen. she Amen. Amen. Her better things Somebody lift your hands to the Lord and say, Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help that lady. Help that lady. Help that lady. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Back in the old days, we used to watch a show called Cagney and Lacey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cagney and that Lacey. That's <laughs> 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 a gumball chase. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Look, and I turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, if you really want to be blessed, open your hands. Open your hands. That's right, that's right, that's right. Y'all can't, can't put nothing in your hands if you always got your hands like that. So when the Lord is moving, sometimes you got to open your hands and give what's in them. So God can put some more in them, amen? So it takes money to do ministry. That's right. And what, as it goes, ministry, money, ministry. That's right, ministry, money, ministry, amen? So if you want to, God continue to bless you, continue to give, amen? amen. Anybody else? Thank you, thank you for that, Sister Kim. Yes, Lord. Uh, uh, Cagney and Lacey. Yes, <laughs> right no, go ahead. Uh, no, don't, don't, ladies. Right. Right. Go, 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 go. I just wanted to say that if we, Mama Jo always tell us to prefer God. And yesterday I had an opportunity, and I think I would have been in my lane to get upset. To be angry and sin not. Mm -hmm. um, and to correct some things 
with a, a client that's fairly new. And I ended up, it was her issue, but I ended up leaving her and going all across town to find hair that really wasn't my responsibility. Mm -hmm. But because of, I stand behind what I'm doing. And I was across town and she had the audacity to call me and to see where I was. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a couple mm -hmm. of more breaths. So <laughs> I'm on my way back. So I went back. And on my way back, as I got down the salon, I said, God, I need your help. Mm -hmm. I need you to just continue to, I was so calm driving and I was, I was almost scared that I was that calm, that I wasn't just up here. Mm -hmm. I was calm riding and what have you. And I talked to mom, I talked to pastor, but I was, I was fine. And when I got there, I wasn't even All right. like, you know, whatever. And she's the kind of person that's got a sharp tongue mm -hmm. and I was going to match her energy because I know that's how she handled people. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me shut her down now so she'll know she can't proceed later. That was my mindset. Mm -hmm. I prayed. Before this lady got out of my seat, she told me how much she appreciated me. She loved me and gave me the tip. Mm -hmm. I want to continue to choose God. Yeah. So yeah. Just choose God. Amen. Amen. Now, I want y'all to know that if I had the time, I'd sing it. I ain't going to sing it to you now. Yeah. Maybe later, but he, but this, he sings a song called "Got the Devil Under My Feet." Yeah, mm -hmm. Holy Ghost holding them down. Yes, That's, if y'all know the story, huh. the Holy Ghost was holding that flesh down yesterday. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I thank God for that because Amen. that's growth. Amen. 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 Anybody else have them issues? Praise the Lord. Anybody else got issues like that? Yeah, like I, I always feel like you need to regulate so nobody feel like they can get over on you. Right, right, right. I got that. Y'all might not have that. But oh, yeah. I'm praying for all of us. Amen. Yeah. All of us. We all know that we a trip sometimes. Yeah. Crazy, crazy as two left shoes. Amen. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes. Come on, people. Um, my uncle passed away Friday with mm -hmm. cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, I um, was on my job Thursday. And I called my dad, because that's my dad's brother. Mm -hmm. And I told my dad, I said, hey man, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go see my Uncle Junior before, you know, I, when I get off work. And uh, he said, all right. I said, well, if you get off work early, meet me at my job, and then we'll go out there together. Mm -hmm. So he said, okay. He said, if I get all right, I'll let you know. So the Lord laid it on my heart, because right then and there, when I say something like that, Sometimes the spirit of procrastination want to set in me, uh, and I yeah. say, "Well, I'll go, but I'm gonna go tomorrow." Right. <laughs> but I, uh, in my spirit, I told the Lord, "I said, Lord, I'm going." Yeah. I said, I, "I said I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." So I got off work and I went round to the pavilion right off of A Street, and when I was sitting in the car, I prayed to the Lord and I was talking to Him, and um, I got out the car and I went inside the place to go see him. And when I walked in, it was like his eyes lit up. He was like so glad right. to see me. Right. And because we were we tight, you know, all of us like that. And uh, my nickname is Munster. That's my name. Right. What is it? What? Munster. And uh, I walked in and he see him, he said, Munster. I said, hey, um, and uh, he was talking to me. I mean, and he was really, when I tell you guys, cancer ain't no joke. That probably was one of the worst cancers that yeah. I have seen on my own. Mm. And uh, but I love him still, so I look past all that. Right. And um, I was talking to him, and he said, "Do me a favor." I said, "Yes." I said, "What you want?" He said, "Go get me a honey bun <laughs> and a and a milk." I said, "Because I know you like chocolate milk." I said, "You want a chocolate milk or you want a white milk?" He said, "Get me a white milk." So I left there, and I'm gonna tell you guys that side of town don't have a lot of the stuff that we have over here on this side of town. It was hard for me to find a white milk, a small white milk. And uh, I went to like two or three stores and I finally found the milk and I had to go, I'm like putting putting together a grocery list with two whites. <laughs> so I got it, I got it and I said, no, please let them be, you know, alive when I get back. Cause I heard people go do things and they come back and they don't pass away. So when I got back, he was alive. He opened up his, I mean, I'm talking about cancer had him, but he was very weak. He opened up the milk, and I opened up the honey bun. He ate it. He was talking to him, and I was telling him about the Lord, man, I'm on fire. Jesus did this, and he doing this in my life. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, we was talking. We had a 
we had a we was communicating with each other. And um, I told him I sat with him for a while, and he closed the milk back up, closed it back up, and I was talking to him. I was telling him about my son and my family and everything, my church. And uh, and I'm telling you guys, it took me all I could not to break down and cry, right. but I had to be strong. Right, I said, right. you got, and the Lord tells you, you got to toughen up. Toughen up. Toughen up. Talk to him. Yes, sir. Talk to him. So I kept talking to him about the word and just talking to him. He said, hey, Amen. So after a while, I seen him, you know, getting tight. So he was laying back in the bed. And I said, Uncle, I said, I'm going to leave now. I said, I love you. And I said, man, and I'll see you soon. And he said, I love you too. Man. He, oh, Lord, I'm yes, Lord. 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 And uh, mm. the next morning, my daddy called me. He said, I went out to the hospital. I just left the hospital and I went out to the hospital to see Uncle Junior and he passed away. Mm. My Lord. And the nurse said he was the last somebody mm. that he talked to. Oh my God. And when I tell you guys, he talked to me <laughs> like I'm talking to you. All right, yes, all right, I heard right. everything he said. Well. I shook his hand. Mm. I couldn't hug him because he's real fragile. Mm -hmm. And when I told him, I love him and I see you soon, it's like, that's what he wanted. Amen. 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 So Amen. Well, Don, we love you, sir. Yes, and, uh, we sorry you. that you had to hurt like that, but when you hurt, we hurt. Amen. All right. If you need us for anything, we're Amen. always right here. Amen. 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 Uh, brother Adik uh, uh, Hill, Big Hill, sure. you have a testimony you want to give, sir? <laughs> yeah, I was just. Uh, sitting here thinking about what Don was saying and everybody else going to say about the Lord, how he works. And uh, for months now, I've been waking up in the mornings before I go to work, and I'm praying, God, where do you want me to go today to tell somebody about you? Yes. To let somebody know that you are alive and well. Oh, and you can do anything and yes. nothing possible for you. Mm -hmm. You know, most mornings I'll wake up and I go, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say this, I'm going to do this then yeah, mm -hmm. because I'm doing it for the Lord. But I heard in, in this church some years ago when I first joined that you can only Keep what you give away. Come on. Right and that what we receive in here in the word of God is not really for us. That's right. <laughs> it's really for somebody else. Come right. on. He, we just a vessel that he feeding it to. Yeah. So uh, this last two months, you know, I've been coming here and the word has been, I mean, something that... Yeah. I come in, I get the word in the pan, but I wasn't taking it out. Uh, I was using it for me. Yes, yes, but yes. here lately, my job's been outrageously crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of people there that I know for a fact, you know, that God said he them uh, know me by, you know, we know people who are saved and not pretty much. By their actions uh -huh. and the way you know when you approach him, how their responses are. Yeah. So here lately, when I get to work, the first thing I do is <laughs> the word that they preach here on Sunday right. that I get. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> when I hit that door to punch in, <laughs> everybody in there I know what picked <laughs> 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 it up. Yeah. They know what's going on. You know? And it's been a blessing to me because I've been having people, you know, past me. D, what the hell? What's the word? You know? So uh, I feel blessed that God is starting to use me again yeah. in a way that's, you know, uh, uplifting to Him yeah. for the kingdom, not just for me and Serenity or churches that's involved here. But for the kingdom, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> the, uh, I forget what the guy called it, but we was at the uh, uh, celebration mm -hmm. over at the church over here on Pritchett, 
and he called it a covenant, a kingdom covenant or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that, where we all as one, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. doing stuff yeah. to lift up the kingdom of God. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. so I'm just blessed and I'm so happy <laughs> these days, you know, that he's released yeah. and I got peace with him. Come on. Lord, from him and the wisdom to know the difference and to use it. Amen. 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 That's the wisdom he's talking about. That's, Amen. That's right. Amen. I have a, a testimony that I went to see a friend. Uh, her husband is bedridden and. Um, she has a lift and have to get him up. So I said, I, need, I kept saying, I need to go see Paul. I need to go see Paul. So I went, and I went back in the room where he was, and um, I said, how you doing? He said, okay. I said, do you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Mm. I said, do you know he died on the cross that you can be, have life and have it more abundant? I said, do you need to repent? Come on. I said, um, mm. when I asked him that, he said, yes. I say, um, do you accept him as your Lord and your Savior, mm. Jesus Christ? He said, I do. So um, I just had kept that urge to keep, he's still here. I just kept that, I need to go see Paul. I Amen. need to go see Amen. Paul. Because sometimes God lays up on your heart, you need to go see this person, and you don't go. Right, right. And then you feel sorry because you didn't go. Mm, yeah. So um, I'm trying to be more doing what God, <coughs> God tells me. Yes. Amen. So now, <coughs> I went back and told his wife, I said, I talked to Paul about salvation, repenting, and knowing that Jesus died for him because he loves him. So, <coughs> told him, did he say it? I said, yes, he said it. Well, then she stopped cursing, you know. <laughs> so, I said, well, at least I did my part and I told her the same you thing. So, you know. It's just, we have to be about God's business. Yeah. And when God laid on our heart to go see somebody, mm -hmm. like uh, Brother Don say, you got to go do his That's will. Right. Tell them about Jesus. And so they can pray for it, that he received it, that he can make it into glory. Amen. 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 You know what, so many times we think that uh, this, that, this is preaching. When you grab the mic and put your face, that's, that's preaching. Yeah. We think that this is kingdom work, yeah. but kingdom work is what y'all were just yeah. talking about. Yeah. That's preaching. But people, so there's some people that have never stepped foot in the church, but they might be the only Jesus that they'll ever see before they make it to the other side. So y'all just get in your mind that I'm going to do kingdom. Amen? Amen. But we got to do kingdom. We got to do kingdom work. Kingdom business. And that starts with getting our flesh under subjection. Yes, Lord. And opening up our mouths and saying what God say. Amen. In every situation, in every circumstance. Ooh, no. your job, at school, at the house, wherever you are, let God have his way. Amen. Somebody tell me, stop doing kingdom work. Kingdom work. Amen. 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 Well, look, I'm going to have everyone get on your feet right now. We're going to turn over the praise and worship portion to Elder Hulk. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 Look, we got, two, got family in the house. Can we give God some praise? Amen. 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 That's good for them. That's good for them. That's good for your favorite team. But I'm talking about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Come on, the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
serenity on behalf of Pastor Carol and myself. We're just glad to be here. Amen. 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 Thank you for all the testimony. Thank you for all the prayers, Brother Hawkins, and the whole nine in Jesus. Let me read the scripture so we can sit down and do the word. I was stand upon my watch and set upon me the tower and would watch to see what he was saying to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain, the vision upon the towers, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end of the vision shall speak and not lie. Though the vision tarry, wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, wait for it. Yes, sir. Because the vision will surely come to that. And then it will not tarry. Yeah. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall be alive. Amen. I got to drive this point home today, y'all, that God is faithful. Yes. Amen. Vision that God has set for as an individual and us as a body. You can take that money to the bank. God Amen. is faithful. Amen. Amen. And for something I want y'all to leave out here late on, we eating chicken. And when we hanging out, amen, doing some of the things that, amen, birds of a feather. <laughs> you may be sick. Amen. All right, all right, sir. Like minds. Like minds. Amen. Birds of a feather. Fly together. I got kind of teared up a minute ago because this is what I have seen years ago and I didn't know what I was looking at. This vision, this fellowship. A couple of years ago, when God said to me and to the first lady, to say, You going to Mark Mariah? Serenity is going to be fine. Trust me, you got to go on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Today, the confirmation that surrender is going to be fine. Mm -hmm. That might not mean as much to you as it means to me. Amen. Amen. Because when God first told me that, I wasn't worried about what I'm going to tell Carol. <laughs> Amen. Y'all ain't talking to me. Yeah. I know I have to see the bishop. I know I have to go do some other things. But I know how we feel about you. And spirit of the word, the day came that sir, he understand now. Serenity is going to be fine for what the Lord is getting ready to do in this house. Amen. 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 Spirit of the word. Amen. When the two shall be from one. Folk who love God. Folk who hate sin. Folk who love people. Now the jacket is just as strange as me and Bishop. Now the jacket is just as radical. But when it comes to that word, Amen. soldier on the battlefield. Amen. So sister, sister, sister Jackson, I feel good today. Amen. Amen. Because God said, I told, didn't I tell you, how many times I done told you I got you? How many times I done told you I got this? my church. Yeah. You just the only shepherd. I run things around here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Birds of a feather flock together. A vision is a picture of the future that produces a passion in the present. A lack of vision is like trying to see underwater without a mask. Mm -hmm. Everything is blurry. It don't really make no sense. Right. Almost we feel impossibly lost. But if we want to have purpose, if we want to clearly see our way in life, if we want to be motivated to do something that counts, mm -hmm. we need a vision. Yes, sir. A picture of where we and those that are close to us, family, church, employees, neighbors, amen, should be at some point in the future. Yeah. A spiritual vision is God's picture of the future that he has created for us. Amen. How do we capture God's vision of where he wants us to be in the future and what he creates for us to accomplish? It go to big one, y'all. It go to big one. It go to big one. It's only when we empty ourselves of our own opinions and dreams of the future that God can fill us up with his picture yes. of the future. Amen. Might not hype you too much today. Y'all know I'm a hype guy. I like being hyped. Mm -hmm. Amen. Might not hype too much today. But I can tell you that the vision that God is faithful to, yeah. Brent got to step back, yeah. sit down and be still, mm -hmm. listen to what the Holy Ghost has said, mm -hmm. because every time that I turn around and did it God's way, it's better than my way. Yeah. Are they coming to me? Yeah. I 
got an opinion. I, I, I got some stuff from West St. Augustine. Hey, Amen. I'm growing up. I, I mean, I'm Carol's boyfriend. I'm 74. <laughs> hey, Amen. I'm Milo's son. I'm Vet Kim and Brenda's brother. I'm the Rhonda dad of Olivia granddaddy. I got an opinion how I think it ought to be. <laughs> Oftentimes, God say, when you get through with your opinion, <laughs> let me holler at you. <laughs> Y'all saved me. I, maybe I don't know. Well, Mama Joe, you can get away with this. You in first lady. That's the sanctified seat right there. <laughs> but the rest of us might struggle for a little bit. It's only when we empty ourselves. I ought to have one witness in the church. It's only when we get rid of our stuff yeah. and say, Lord, not my will, not will. but thy will Amen. be done. Yes. The evidence is overwhelming. Yes. I, I, excuse me, y'all. I have to go to Bishop in there because you know, he's a bishop. Bishop, you say to you ain't got no <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you this, though. When I first met Bishop, though, that Bishop said, uh, uh, I want you to know I'm a strange guy. And his eyes got really big. And I know I'm strange. I said, oh, no. He got to find out we just him. Don't laugh, Jack. All my life, though, family, I see things differently. And because I have a very healthy view of the big picture, of the vision, oftentimes y'all it get confusing to people because I talk about a bunch of stuff at the same time. So you say, "Amen." amen. And, 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 and so I struggle that uh, I have to slow down because I struggle with communicating the vision, Amen. Because the vision is about what's happening in the future. You see what we're doing right now. I saw this five years ago. Eight years ago, ten years ago, we got to begin to spoon feed, amen, what he wants for me and for us. But that was five years ago, and here we are this morning, it done come full past. Praise God. Praise God. Sometimes, y'all, I ask for your prayers. I ask for your prayers because, amen, God, give me, I, have to, I have to step back and say, God, you're talking about for the day, for the morrow, for the next month, next week, amen, because I sometimes struggle, bro, with communicating. How many of y'all ever talked to me? And we and I talk about ten things. Yeah, yeah one thing. You, you don't know if I'm from Star Trek. You, you, don't, you, you don't know this is a preview. Sometimes you're like, wait a minute, God, what, what are we talking about today or when? Know your place. Get in your place and stay in your place. Because as a quarterback. As a leader, as a pastor, as an overseer, in the huddle, I know what I got to do. I know them two guards and them two tackles. I know that what that that um tight end, those wide receivers. I know what the running back need to do, and I need to know what the defense is doing. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't talking to them. Amen. Yeah, so my, my job is to know what everybody's doing. Yeah. My job ain't to block. My job ain't to catch. My job ain't to run. My job is to know and give it to the one that got the run. Give it to, throw it to the one that got the catch. Did you know what I'm saying? That's what my job is. My job ain't to do your job. Your job is to do your job. Oh. Problem sometimes, y'all, with people like myself. Trust a man who don't trust. I don't mind you needing me, but I don't like needing people. <laughs> God ain't talking to me. I serve you, I do whatever you need me to do, but to need you, I got a problem with that. I have to be delivered from that. So Kurt Brown serenity taught me. I need people who needs me. Yeah. I need, I didn't know how much I need you, man. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, spit of the word just like y'all need us. Mm -hmm. And I'm all right to say, y'all, I'm delivered from that. I need you. Mm -hmm. Bishop, I need you. Church, amen. amen. God bless us and keep us. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I just get on this answer machine. I need to hear that. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Habakkuk said in chapter 2, verse number 2, he said, write, it's a three-step process. Write the vision. Yeah. Make the vision plain upon tables yeah. that he may run that readeth the vision. Yeah. Church, amen. amen. So, so God said, write the vision. Yeah. And while that was good news to me, I hate writing. Yeah. 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I got a degree, y'all, but then I couldn't praise with the best of them. <laughs> oh, they got them. Sir. Oh, sir. Uh, I know oh, I couldn't praise and change a couple words like in mine. I think they call that pleasurism or something. <laughs> but I thank God that when he said write the vision, what he said to me, though, but son, understand, it's already written. Amen. Genesis 1 and 1, Revelation 22 and 21. Get in the word. Yeah. I said, why the come coming? Spirit of the word. Yeah. Get in the word. Yeah. Walk what I walk. Think what I think. Say what I say. Do what I do. The vision is already written. Get in the word. Yeah. Say amen. Yeah. You said, well, make it plain upon tables. Only preach what you know. Talk, preach what you know. No, I, I can't impress y'all, y'all. I, I can't do it. I got to tell you what I know. I know that I'm a sinner. Save my grace. Yeah. Say amen. Yeah. I know when I was in darkness, light came. I know when I'm sick, God's my healer. Yeah. I know when I need bread, when I need food, God will feed me. God will give me water when I'm thirsty. I can tell you where the Lord brought me from. Yeah. I was a sinner, God. I was messed up, jacked up. And amen, I can put a suit on, but he that is in me is greater. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sir. Hey, go your part, though. Serenity. And after about a few more minutes, y'all, I'm going to say serenity and spirit of work. We ain't got to do that in a minute. According to the agreement that the Holy Ghost then gave us, right? Get in your word. But I love about you, so spirit, spirit of the word, you're in your word. And you love the word, is that right? We got, are we going to walk together? We got to walk in this word. Amen. Church, amen. amen. We got to be in this word. Yeah. Serenity, brothers and sisters, has been built on the word of God. Yeah. And though the wind may come, trouble trials and tribulations. Amen. Because we built deeply in the word. Yeah. Amen. And the spirit of the word of God. Everything going to be all right. Amen. What I know as the founder of this ministry yeah. is that the word of God is true. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Can I just chronologically get y'all to walk with me for a minute about birds of a feather yes, sir. flocking together? Uh -huh. I'm so proud of Olivia, though, y'all. Remember me? And uh, and when she come on, she ain't been gone for a couple weeks. She like, I ain't seen her long. <laughs> when Olivia like her Uncle Duke, y'all, she just smooth. <laughs> Don't too much rally. Amen. Thank God for Olivia and, uh, and what she's doing at Bethune Cookman. Amen. Amen. We got some mothers in the and some mothers. You got some grandkids in the school? Amen. Uh, work out there working. Where am I doing? He on the boat somewhere? No, he go back in January. In January. Keep lifted up in prayer. Yeah. What here? A uh, merchant tree with Emergency. That again. That's why I was saying, boy, you get it. Send your time to surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just talk to you. Uh, we gonna, I'm going to be done at 1225. Church, amen. amen. The first sermon that I read, let me go to that word, y'all, because so the, the, the thing that's going to unite us and keep us united, Bishop, is the word of God. Yeah. And the spirit of God, uh, Pastor Jackson, because I love, man, your preaching. I love what I hear you preach and teach. And I know that that's what's going to keep us. So the word will allow birds of a feather to fly together. Mm -hmm. My first sermon that I preached was Psalm 119, verse 9 through 11. And it said, Well, will shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed therefore into the word according to the word of God? Amen. Uh, With my whole heart have I sought thee, in verse number 10. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Amen. And listen, the word, I'm a word man, serenity. I love the word of God. The first message that I preach is what David said uh, through the Holy Ghost, that in order for my ways to be cleansed, I got to get this word. Amen. Amen. Because God give us his whole heart, I realize that God didn't want some of me. Right. Amen. He wanted my whole heart. Oh, yeah. But I don't know about y'all, but sometimes my mind will wonder. Sometimes I find myself in left field. And the word will bring me back and root, and root me down the way I'm supposed to be. Do I have this one with me? Amen. That word have I hid in my heart. Amen. That I'm telling God I ain't sinned since I've been saved. But I'm telling you, sin don't set right on my stomach. Sin don't set right in my spirit. My attitude ain't like God don't set right. Because that word that God has put in my heart, hallelujah, that I might not sin against me. I know how to repent. My brother down say repentance is a weapon. Church, amen. amen. Y'all might be saving to me, but I just want to bet that since you've been saved, you have to go back and get dipped in the blood. Yeah. You have to go back and stand at the cross and say, Lord, have mercy on me. And that's the word of the living God. Yeah. Birds of a feather flock together. And it's the word that's going to unite us then, now, and forevermore. Amen. Church, 
church, amen. amen. And the preacher went real good. If you got $20 and want to throw it on the floor, I'll scoop it up and keep it right on there. <laughs> I think that on TV, Mr. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me chronologically fit of the word. I want to show y'all who serenity is by the word. Mm -hmm. I want to show y'all, amen, because there's been uh, uh, two pastors at serenity. Voila. And listen, y'all, one of the heroes about what we get ready to do, y'all, is Pastor Wayne Simpson. Amen. That is a friend indeed. That is a man that loves the word of God. Yeah. He's a prayer warrior, y'all. Yeah. If you get on the prayer line, you better hurry up and pray because then Wayne get the mic. <laughs> and then Wayne gonna pray from 12 from 105 to 1255. He's gonna say, if anybody else got a song, pray, pray, pray. That brother gonna preach, pray, he's gonna pray. Amen. That is a rock at serenity. Yeah. There's been two pastors at serenity. Walla and Wayne Simmons. But I look yeah. over yonder and I saw somebody come. Yeah. Hey! To <laughs> God be the glory. Amen. So let me show y'all something. And this is my intent this morning uh, to say to us as I prepared for this. I want to show you, and I probably ain't going to get all of it in, y'all. But, Dad, I want to show you who serenity is by the word. Amen. Amen. Because I know spirit of the word, you got a word in you, and that word is going to unify us because that's what links us to mission. Yeah. That's what links us to K-Ray. I mean, the body of Christ as a whole. Do y'all believe that? Yeah. But remember now, when it comes to the vision, when it comes to the vision, you got to, I got the back up. Get out of the way and let God have his way. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, Lord have, your way. have your way. You come in Genesis chapter 12, y'all, chronologically, when God told Abram, leave your house. Mm -hmm. Leave your family, leave your kin for your country, from your father's house, and I'm going to go you to the land that I show you. And I'm going to make of you a great nation. I'm going to bless you, and I'm going to make thy name great. Yeah. Church, amen. amen. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee. Mm -hmm. Verse number three, and I'm going to curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Somebody say, get your eyes, get your eyes. On, Jesus. on Jesus. It was the Lord that spoke to Abram to get out. Church, amen. amen. It was the Lord that told him, I'm going to make you a great nation and I will bless thee. And I'm going to make your name great. But it wasn't the name of Abraham. There's a name that's above every name. There's a name that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. See, people try to make Abraham a God. But God said, no. Nah. Abraham said, no. Nah. I ain't the one you need to pray. You got to lift up the one that gave me the vision. The one that called me. That's the one name that's going to be above every name. Amen. Church, amen. amen. And thou shall be a blessing. Yeah. I'm telling you, serenity, you a blessing. Yeah. Spirit of word, you are a blessing. Yeah. You hungry, you greedy, you love the Lord, you praise God, you will support, you will give your money. Listen, how we do it? You come every Wednesday, Tuesday, you come Sunday, you bring your money, you let us preach to you, and then you come back next week and do it all over again. You love God. Yeah. Hey, don't you love the Lord? Yeah. I said, ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. You might have said you weren't coming back, but you keep coming back. You might have said you ain't going to sing no more, but you keep singing. Yeah. You might have said, I don't feel like praying. And they say, you know, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, yeah. I thank you for your goodness and your kindness. You might suck your teeth and roll your eyes, but you still, God, give the glory. Yeah. I'm keeping the better y'all saying amen. You are a blessing in the quality of life of everybody else around you because of Jesus is better. Amen? Amen. Watch this, y'all, chronologically, Genesis 22 and 2. Now, <laughs> Abraham had two sons, one named Esau by his girlfriend, but really wasn't his girlfriend. Y'all know the story, right? Yeah. And then Isaac, his promised son. And God said now, 22 and 2, take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac. Church, amen. 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 Whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering unto him, one of the mountains, which I tell thee of. Watch this, Pastor Jackson. God say, take serenity who you love. Yeah. Take spirit of the word who you love. Take it up on the mountain and kill it. Uh -huh. Oh, God, you better have some faith in yeah. Take what you love and give it away. Yeah. Take what's yours that you build, that you pray for, that you yeah. sweat it. Amen. And you give it away. Take it up to the mountain. I'm going to see what you're made out of. Don't see if you really trust me. I'm going to see if you really walk with me. I'm going to see if you really know that I am me. I am the God of my might. You need some help. What kind of key? You do in that bag, church, amen. Let me get back to the preaching. I preach like this. <laughs> but listen to that. He said, take serenity and put it in the hands of somebody else. Take spirit of the word. Put it in the hands of somebody else. But it wasn't somebody else. It was a God thing. It's a God thing. But take that bag here. Abraham being a man of faith, is that right? 
he told the men, he said, me and the boy going up to the mountain. Hey, amen. We're going to worship, but we'll be back. But he was going to kill him. Right. Well, if you fool yourself, hey, amen, I'm going to kill Isaac. Yeah. I said, hey, amen, I'm going to kill Isaac. Yeah. Because he knew if God told me to kill him, yeah. if God told me to sacrifice him, then God's going to work it out. I trust God. I believe God. God's going to work it out. That's what I mean. God is going to work it out. I'm like Isaac, though. Hey, Dad. Yeah, I am, son. I see the fire. Yeah. And I see the wood. Yeah. But where? Where's the lamb? Yeah. Just amen. amen. For the burnt off. Yeah. And God has told him, or Abraham said to him, my son, God will provide for himself yeah. a lamb for the burnt off. So they both went, them together. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you the birds of a feather yeah. flock together. I trust God, you trust God. Amen. God will have you run out in the deep. God will have you walk out on water. God will have you jump in a den with a bunch of lions. God, God will have you get in a fire, volunteer for a fire. God will say, you say I'm healed and you got cancer. God will have you stand up and declare I'm set free. God will say I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the head and not the tail. God will tell you to do some stuff. Ain't nobody do that. I'm God, I got to really pray now. But I'm going to tell you now. What I'm going to tell Bishop. Amen. 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 How many of y'all know that God was saying, Abraham was saying, or symbolically that he was pointing to Jesus mm -hmm. on a hill called Calvary? Uh -huh. Can I fast forward? Yes. Y'all remember Jacob mm -hmm. and his sons? Mm -hmm. He was getting ready to check out Genesis 49 and 8. Mm -hmm. and he getting ready to run the thing out of all 12 of them boys. And he got to Judah. He said, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. He said, thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. He talking about Jesus now. Y'all got to be with me now. I know he's talking to Judah, but he really talking about Jesus in the spirit. Are y'all with me on that? And he said, thy hand shall be on the neck of thy enemies. These are the benefits of being a serenity. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's will. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up, and he stooped down and cried as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Hey, go verse 10. The authority, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, uh -huh. nor a lawgiver from between his feet, uh -huh. until Shiloh come, yeah, 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 yeah. until the Messiah come. Mm -hmm. And unto him, birds of a feather mm -hmm. will flock together. I'm just telling you the benefits of what God placed in serenity by the word of God. Yeah. Amen. We're going to do this and we're going to do this together, but it's going to be in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I said, we're going to do this yeah. and we're going to do it together, Bishop. Yeah. Just like I understand the reason why I've been looking for King Mike for 15 years. I knew they were around here somewhere, Kim. <laughs> amen. But I didn't know where they were. Church, amen. amen. But as soon as I found the man of God, the people of God, I understood that I was home because of the relationship that our bishop and all the other churches have with Jesus. Yeah. I say Jesus is the man. Yeah. Our unity is based on the Messiah. Yeah. Church say, man, wait, we got to praise, yeah. we got to pray, yeah. and we got to preach. I got to run on time and running out. Y'all smell that chicken? <laughs> <laughs> so God will provide. Yes. God will prosper us. But he also protect us. Remember this first lady? Brown, Exodus 23 and 20. Uh, Serenity, this is your age. We got ADT here. We got cameras outside. Praise the Lord. We got alarm system. Is that right? But how many know we got angels assigned to each one of us? Amen. Yeah. Church, amen. amen. I was in England in the Air Force. Uh, what, what branch are you in? Navy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> God says to me, he said, before we left England to run to the Golden North Dakota, uh -huh. he said, behold, I sent an angel before thee. Uh -huh. To keep thee in the way. Y'all see that capital A? Uh -huh. That's some pre-Jesus stuff there. Mm -hmm. But he's a keeper to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Mm -hmm. Amen. I thought it was North Dakota. Then I thought it was St. Augustine. 1781 Art Museum Drive was prepared for us. Yeah. Now, I want to let you know, Spirit of the Word, we got everything you need right now. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you want a cold, I can turn the AC down. If you want a hot, we can turn the AC up. We got cable, but we're going to watch the game in a few minutes. Church, amen. Yeah. amen. Yeah. I'm just letting you know that it's a prepared place for you. Yes, and God already worked it out. God already worked it out. Yeah. Amen. All you got to do you, is houses that you didn't build. It's great vines that you didn't dig. Amen. All you got to do is pluck from the vine and just eat on the fat. Hey, God. He said, I'm going to send you to a place that I'm prepared for you. Church, amen. Yeah. He said, but wait a minute now. Behold, I ain't going to go before you. 
you it departing figures in verse number 21. Beware of him. Yeah. I said, beware. Y'all got to been to a house, somebody, and maybe some of y'all got big dogs, and you got a sign that says, beware, yeah. big dog. Yeah. If you step in this yard, you step in at your own risk. Yeah. I want to let you know when you walk up in here, you're coming at your own risk. <laughs> Amen. You might come one way, but yeah. you got to leave another way. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Beware of him and obey his voice. Yeah. But bark him not. Don't poke the bear. Just say amen. amen. Y'all, y'all seen him. He called him Bojack. Now, Charlotte, you go better. I know I love him while I feel. I know he's kind and gentle. But he don't look like somebody I need to mess with in the dog ass. <laughs> don't poke the bear. Just say amen. amen. He said, but he, my angel, will not pardon your transgression. Why, huh? Because my name is in him. Oh, oh, so holiness is in him. Yeah. Righteousness is in him. Yeah. That's how we're in ADT. That's our protection. So beware of him. Watch that verse number two. He goes a little bit higher in church. Amen. Amen. He said, but if I indeed shall obey his voice and do all that I speak. Uh-huh. Somebody say, then. Then. Then will I be an enemy until thy enemies. Uh-huh. And an adversary until thy adversaries. Yeah. Listen, y'all, don't go binding the devil drinking. <laughs> don't go binding the devil and you got a girlfriend <laughs> and a boy. Don't go binding the devil. If you dipping, tripping, tripping, and then that devil tear your behind up. And then you got to be holy. You got to live right. You got to be right. You can't be walking with the devil. And it's time I fire you in Jesus' name. That devil, I can see you on the Facebook. I can see you in Bible study. You're going to have pray. You don't get tired. And you can run about like you said, but me. God will protect us. That's the first scripture, or one of the first, that serenity is built on. Church, say amen. amen. Now, he also prospered. Moses had died. Run with me, y'all. Joshua 1 and 5. Let's get to this word. I'm going to drop down to verse 8. This book of the law, Joshua 1 and 8, this is God talking directly to Joshua. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. But as I was with Moses, I'll be with you. Watch this, look up. I, my great granddaddy, our great granddaddy was Moses great. His son was Moses Jr. Mm-hmm. Couple of generations come, here come me and Darius, the preachers in, in the family, right? Mm-hmm. I hear the Lord say, as I was with Moses, mm-hmm. so shall I be with you. Yes. And I'm saying to you, Spirit of the Word, and I'm saying to you, Pastor Jackson, as God is with me, say I'm blessed and hallowed. Yes. I said, I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Church, amen. God been good to me. I read something in the morning. Deion Sanders said, Don't let my confidence disturb your insecurity. Church, amen. If you ain't got it, you can bring that home. How do you say, Bishop? Don't get mad at me. You ain't got a child at home. I'm afraid that brother. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Church, amen. But I'm telling you, I'm blessed, and I know I'm blessed. Church, amen. God been good to me. God said, God has brought me from a mighty long way. They say, well, this book of the law shall not part out of thy mouth, but we got to meditate day and night. Amen. Amen. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written oh, in. Somebody say, for then. Then shall I make thy way prosperous, and then shall I have good success. Church, amen. amen. Let me get to the word now. In Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 1, show you how important this word is, spirit of the word. Somebody say, spirit, spirit. of the word. word. So we saw the word that Joshua day. Amen. When they was in that wilderness for 40 days, 40 nights, Moses was done. But I'm like, Joshua, I'm tired of this man and I want some barbecue. Church, amen. Let's come out of this wilderness and get over into the land of milk and honey. Yeah. God sent Nehemiah, amen, to rebuild the wall. The Bible says that Nehemiah ate and worked, and all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street. Are y'all still with me? Yes. I said, are y'all tracking with me? Yes. I told y'all talk about 10 days at one time. I wanted to bum rush y'all with this word. This <laughs> Church, say amen. amen. He said, uh, uh, 8 and 1, he said, to let's gather themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they stoned Ezra and described to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded to Israel. And he read the end before the street. That was before the water gate. That's another lesson. Amen. From morning until midnight. Y'all know we done got super saved. They needed that word. Give us all we need a 15, 20 minutes. Y'all to turn off and stop looking at TikTok right now. Amen. From morning to midnight. They midday, but even before the men and the women. And those that can understand the ears 
of all the people was attentive unto the book of the law. Verse 5. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, Amen. all the people, they stood up. And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people said, Amen. Amen. Come on, say, Amen. Amen. And the scripture said, they lift up their hands, and they bowed their hands. And then they worshiped the Lord, hey, with the faces to the ground. Let's get in the word. And the word is gone. So I said, Amen. I got to go now, y'all, because I need about five more church minutes. Amen. It's 1225. Amen. The cool people ain't can't give me the high sign yet. <laughs> and so, Bishop, what God did with serenity is three things that we do better than anything else. We pray, yes. we preach, yes. and we pray. Yes. Spirit of the word, y'all don't doubt my praying. I already done checked out. I know you're praying in church. Church say amen. amen. I know you're a preacher, preach the gospel. I know the elders preach the gospel, is that right? Amen. But getting our praise on. Like, y'all know what to about that you take. Amen. amen. Sometimes you pray. I like you want to fight if you don't pray. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pray the Lord. I'll be scared. I'll get up on you. I'll just not pray because they got issues with this. They got me too good. I thought the smoke was slowing down. The pain was not crazy, man. Are you like that? No. <laughs> Amen. 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 And we've been saying it for 20 years, Mama Joe. As for me, in a dysfunctional family. Listen, y'all, this spiritual warfare with our families, we got to learn how to pray. He said in Psalms 55, as for me, this is David. I'm going to call upon the Lord. Evening, morning, and noon, will I cry? Hold on now. There's a difference between praying, Dad, and crying. Crying when there's a problem. Crying when there needs a deliverance. Crying when your husband done walked out the door. Your wife won't talk to you no more. Your children in jail. Don't boy got your daughter. Crying. Hey, Amen. When our bank is against the wall. Crying. When money ain't going to get us out of the door. Crying. When you ain't going to be able to preach your way. Daddy said that's for me. And then I called upon the Lord. Even this morning. And the morning I cried. And my God heard my cry. God ain't talking to me. Amen. He heard me. And then he delivered my soul in peace. From the battle that was against me. Amen. For there was many with me. That's a war cry. Yeah. Who love? Who love? Who love? That's a war cry. Yeah. But you ain't got nothing else. That's a war cry. Yeah. I got called out of You might call me sometimes. I won't answer. But if you call Jesus. Yeah. I said, if you call the Lord. Yeah. He was here and he would answer. Yeah. And he would deliver your soul. And be from the battle that was against you. I'm talking about in the family. I said, I'm talking about in the family. Yeah. I'm talking about in the church. Yeah. And then when the problem comes in the church, now, and the enemy going to come in the church. Yeah. In 20 years, he done walked in serenity. Yeah. And he done by the with his tail between the legs. Come on! I'm a snitch. I'm a snitch. Jesus! Me! I don't know who it is. I don't know where it is. If I'm glad God don't show me like that, because I might treat you some kind of way. But God will fix that problem. Yes, yeah. Church say amen. Yeah. Yeah. And so not only do we have to pray for our family, mm. there's another scripture that comes with serenity that's about intercessory prayer. Uh -huh. West side, north side, church say amen, Arlington, downtown, the ATL. Yeah. It's a pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. They shall prosper that good people. Yeah. Yeah. Peace be within our walls yeah. and prosperity within our palaces. Yeah. For my brother and companion say. The power of life and done is a tongue, is, is in my tongue and your tongue. Right. For my brother and companion's sake, I will now say, Peace. Come on, speak, speak. Peace. Peace, peace. peace be with Kim and the Peace. peace. Now, how about the first time I heard that? I didn't know they'd take police. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hey, I ain't never heard nobody take the police that. But listen, if we don't pray for one another, uh, yeah. if I don't speak peace in your house, yeah. well, let me say this. Y'all know Christian gossip. Mm. We talk about each other. Mm. Amen. Amen. Y'all gonna talk about me today. He, I know he ain't gonna stop playing. Y'all <laughs> 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 like, always say he been closed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about you sleeping in church. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't be talking about me. But who said it has to be bad? Who said it has to be negative? But the scripture does tell me, if my brother or sister, be, let me know when they're ready. If my sister and brother are overtaken in a fall, uh -huh. you with your spirit, till you restore such a one with a spirit of meekness. Yes. I ain't going to tell you I always walk on water. Right. Even though I'm saved, I'm Holy Ghost filled. I make mistakes and I respect for you to pray for me. Yes. Amen. Church, amen. amen. One thing I love about my bishop and my brother here, we don't pretend with you like we're already in heaven. When I get to heaven, I ain't got to worry about it. But until then, I got to fight with this flesh. Yes. Until I got to fight with being a human being, yes. being a full grown man in a crazy world. I need the blood to cover me on the way. So say amen. And so as we intercessory prayer, that's Psalm 122, Christopher, about praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. Because of the house of the Lord of the God, I will see that good. I'm going to have to quit, y'all, but I'm gonna, I have to, maybe a uh, pastor let me come back some other time and give you some more of this life. But I want to tell y'all, birds of the feather, fight together. Yes, sir. Trust in the Lord. Yes, sir. With all your heart. Come on, Proverbs 3 5. Jesus, Jesus. Trust in the Lord. Oh. Have total confidence. Yes, sir. Listen, y'all, that preacher said something last night uh, uh, about this New Testament coming. Yes. No, we got to be the answer. Yes. We got to be the solution. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, y'all, I don't mean no disrespect, but I, if you're coming to me with the problem, I just, okay, I got the problem. Now let's shift to the solution. Yeah. And because too many people yeah. want to live in resentment, right. want to live in fear, right. want to live in guilt and remorse, yeah. want to live in because I'm black. Yeah, I'm black. I've been black all my life. I'm going to be black till I die. But I'm bold with a blackness. I'm glad to be black. I ain't got no problem being black. Yeah. Trust me, man. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm going to die tomorrow because we got some good food in the kitchen. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to lose some weight. Amen. But I like me. Y'all ain't talking to me. You know what I see? Maybe uh, tomorrow, but the day we can put something on the cheek. Amen. Amen. <laughs> What I'm saying is about trust in the Lord. Let's be the head and not the tail. Yeah. Let's be the light and not the darkness. Church, amen. Yeah. Let, let, let's be the one that forgive. Has yeah. anybody hurt you? Has anybody lied to you? Has anybody betrayed you? Huh? Have you been wounded? Has, has that little boy in you still, that little girl in you, was she hurt? Was she abused? God said, if you're a new creature in Christ, old things will pass away. Behold, all things become new. Let that stuff go, y'all. Let's be free. Yes. Let's be healed. Come on, say, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. And I'm set free. And I'm set free. Let the devil know you can't mess with me by that. That's in the past anymore because of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. Yes. Amen. I don't believe to my own understanding because I don't find out that my understanding and my ways is different than his way. Yes, sir. Amen. Church, amen. amen. So I thank God for where he brought us from. Amen. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord in the parts of me. These are some of the things that serenity is made of. These are some of the things, my brothers and sisters, amen, that I just want to share with you today. Birds of a feather flock together. I'm confident that he that started this way yeah. is going to keep us yeah. unto the end. Amen. 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 My last question, and then we're going to stand and pray. It said, Paul told the Corinthian church, I preach Jesus and him crucified. The preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. But to us, which is saved, it is the power of God. Serenity, if you want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, an ambassador, then every day we have to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. He died. And he rose again. Yeah. Paul walked into a Corinthian church and said that cross is to us that are saved. It is the power of God. Yeah. But, but to them that don't, amen, it's foolishness. It don't make sense. Ain't that good news? Yeah. Therefore, seeing that we have this ministry. Yeah. Put it up, Christopher, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. As we have received mercy, stand in with you. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. We won't quit. We won't faint. This ministry is built on mercy. Therefore, we won't quit. Amen. Church, amen. amen. Verse 2 says, We have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, nor walking in craftiness, nor having the word of God deceitfully. But by the manifestation of the truth, committing ourselves to every man gospel, every man conscious in the sight of God. He goes further to say, But if our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world has blinded the mind of them which believe not, 
least the light, amen, of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. For we preach not ourselves, but Jesus the Lord, and ourselves the service for, for Christ's sake. Here's verse 6, y'all, and we get ready to pray. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, shall shine in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Go on tonight and read the rest of that. Birds of a feather flock together. So God, here we are. As one body. Thank you for what you've done. And Pastor and First Lady Jackson and all the Spirit of the Word family. Thank you how you have used them mightily. Now God, I thank you for binding us together with the cause of love. That we will never be separated from you nor one another. That God has written in the Lamb's Book of Life of this great church and this great ministry and this great man of God. Now, Lord, according to the vision that you place in this house, when God, when you said that everything is going to be all right, you said, I'm going to send pastors after your own heart, and I believe that, and I, I trusted you with that. And God, I thank you for what you've done for this house, for serenity. Have your way, God. Let it be by your spirit of the word. Let it, let it be by we pray together. That, that we get in this word together. That we pray and we love you and one another. Yes. And how we love each other, God, they're going to draw all men. Yes. That won't get some of this love affair yes. between you and your church. Yes. Have your way, God. Have your way. We receive yes. your divine guidance. Yes. We receive the outpouring of your spirit. Yes. The joy. Hey, hey, hey. The joy, Lord, we receive. Yes. The joy of unity. The joy of fellowship. Yes. The joy of oneness. Yes. Have your way, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. God, to the overflow. Yes. Multiply. Yes. The impact, the influence. Yes. In this house, in this ministry. Here, beyond, uh, uh, at our museum and beyond. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you for our bishop. We thank you, God, for our leadership. Yes. We thank you one for another. In the name of Jesus. Bind us together. Bind us together. Yes. With the cause of love. If you don't know Jesus Christ, if you don't know him, then the partner of your sin, you can be saved today. You can be saved. Your, and, and listen, your eternal destination will change. If you're on Facebook and you're sitting in your home, you might have a glass of wine in front of you. I don't care nothing about none of that. God don't care nothing about none of that because he snatched me right up out of that kind of lifestyle and showed me something better. And we want to pray for you. We want to be like the testimony that Sister LaBella had. If you don't know Jesus, you ain't got to be sick enough to die. Amen. I don't know if I'm promised tomorrow. I want to let you know that you can make it in today. Amen. One of the most important things that any one of us ever can do is to go from eternal damnation to eternal everlasting life. You can be saved today. And I want to always extend Pastor Jackson the opportunity, amen, for somebody who Luke wants that need to recommit and dedicate. Church men, especially my backside brothers and sisters that need to come home. Watch this, somebody. There's a lot of folks in church that are already backslidden. Come to church every Sunday, Bishop, and already done backslidden. But they're afraid to, to come clean. Amen. Think about what people think about you. Ain't nobody got a heaven or hell to put you in. God will work it out. Amen. We want to give you opportunity to come because I came to Jesus just like I was. Weird. Whoa now. And God just wrapped in his loving arms and healed up my wound. You're here today. You can come. We want to make sure you have that opportunity. Praise the Lord. And just because you don't, and somebody don't make that decision, amen, we come in the kitchen. The Holy Ghost coming to get you. The Holy Ghost going to run you down. You can run, but you can't hide. Every time you turn around, you go to the club, I'm going to be in the club. Amen. I'm coming where you at, and I'm going to let you know how much I love you. Ain't hey, God a good God? Yeah. Come on, give the Lord a hand, pray. Yeah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I pray something was said today. Amen. Um, I cut about half of that short passage, but I wanted to just share with you some of the things over the that the serenity was built on by this word. The vision for serenity comes from the word, just like in spirit of the word. So our likemanship, our kinship is in the word. And we're going to grow together. We're going to love together. We're going to fellowship together. But don't you fool yourself. 
God's expectation for us is to operate at a championship level. Yeah. Hallelujah! God, if we keep it together, we got to go higher now. And the, our bishop uh, uh, spirit is to prepare us to go higher, to be better. Church, amen. amen. And uh, 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 you know how sometimes they get AD and LeBron and they get the super teams in the NBA and the expectation they put them guys together to win championship. I believe we have to win championship. I believe we have to win championship. The expectation got to be high. Amen. And so um, uh, I just thank God for all that uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Bishop to have a couple of words. Amen. And then Pastor Jackson, I said, thank you for the show. And then ministerial ethics would say that the preacher died. out. <laughs> no, I get to come back and talk some more. <laughs> Bishop, get it all in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we still on? Are we going to take long? No, well, I mean, look, I just want to say I don't have a lot of remarks. Brit is crazier than I am. So, so I just appreciate the word.